after I was was hired on this job, and you know, the first thing is who's cast, <laughs> and it took quite a bit. You know, our, our 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 casting didn't begin to get finalized until right before we started filming. So we were doing a lot of stuff um, as we were filming and grabbing. I mean, I knew the people that I felt we would have to do things to to make them special. Um, you know, like Rudy Giuliani, he's such a specific look and, you know, doesn't have a lot of hair, so we knew we couldn't just style it to make it work, and, and Rupert Murdoch being another one, and so we kind of knew we were gonna have to do stuff along there anyway. And so as soon as they were cast, we had them go get a life cast. We and, and we've used different, you know, I think Rudy was in Atlanta, so we started there, had the life cast sent to Los Angeles, and then began that process. And again, trying different stuff, you know, I mean, the actor playing him, we, we have to bring these things together, it's quite, it, it's quite a large, a bunch of large pieces. We have Kayla, who's Margot Robbie, and she's probably the only um, person in this who has a true arc, a physical arc that we see her go from one person to another. So we really, and she doesn't wear any prosthetics in it, and we, we do just kind of beautiful, simple makeup techniques to transform her from one to another, following into how her story is being told and how she's being affected as a human being on this and how she'll end up that way. And we are using makeup, you know, the, the anchor look is so famous for its lashes and, you know, he heavy skin and heavy eye makeup and that flawless look of the Fox girls. Most of their lips were all pretty shiny, not really dark or red or anything like that, but very shiny and lots of lashes. And, you know, it's not unlike us to like put, stack three or four sets of lashes on top of someone just to be able to get the look that we need. Shirley's just very collaborative. She weighs in, she has an amazing eye. She's very good at makeup herself. So, you know, to it's it's great to work with someone like that because they know a lot. So again, you know, here I am and I, you you work with Kazu who's great and Shirley's who's great. And, and then so it really, it's fantastic because everyone comes to the table with their highest bit that they can come. but. We've, I think we felt that we discovered that to get the look that looked like Megyn Kelly didn't need to be changed a lot. We felt it would be too confusing, you know what I mean? To have all the prosthetics and to get that look, we felt like we get a look that's locked for her at work. Her work look, her um, on-camera look, excuse me, that was lovely. Her, her work look, her on-camera look, and then when she's at home and other stuff, it's definitely not the lashes and it's definitely a different look for that but we didn't it didn't feel like it needed it and I don't think her character went through that she was always very um, business through the whole thing you'll find it in her performances it's quite beautiful Jay has been so supportive and and yet and he hasn't really had to be a part. I mean, I've, I've gone to him through every character and everything we're going to do, and he's just been so supportive through it all. And, and a, a dream and easy to work with. He comes in the trailer when he can and talks to the actors, and I, he makes the process, he supports in every way, meaning he really wants everyone to bring everything to the table, and yet he's in that same place of, let's find out what's really right, not necessarily to be so exacting, but to find out what's right. And what's interesting is that he's, we are seeing the same thing. So it's just been a, it's been a beautiful ride.